Hello viewers, today we are going to talk about category classification AI model which classifies the text into different categories. We have been discussing AI model and its each type in a few videos. In this video, we will discuss some use cases and how to use or consume it category classification AI model that we built in our last video using Power Automate. Using this category classification, we can use it for sentiment analysis or customer request routing, spam detection, product reviews, customer feedback. We can use it on Canvas Shop or Power Automate. We need more than 10 text entries of each tag. To build an AI model, we have six steps. For our demo today, our use case is to extract information from the email and the route based on the category. We can achieve this in two ways. One is sync the Outlook with the Dataverse and route the email, or we can create an email activity with different category in Dataverse. So the first step is to identify the requirement, which is categorize the incoming email. The second step chooses the right model. To categorize the text, we need to choose the category classification. The next step is to prepare the data, which needs to collect sample text and the tags. For example, hospital or a clinic receives an email message saying room was clean and well maintained. This means they are talking about the facilities. So now tag is facility. So we take another example. The employee receive an email like, what a great job you did on the presentation yesterday. Well done. So this means appreciation. I hope this helps, which means how to categorize that email. The next step is to train the model. After that, test and optimize. Finally, publish and consume it on our Power Automate or Power Apps. So on this uh, data flow diagram, the first step is for a customer sends an email. We will be using just an e Gmail account to send an email. The second step is Outlook receives an email. The third step is a Power Automate flow will be triggered. The fourth step is Power Automate sends the email message to AI model. The fifth step is an AI model returns the result. Finally, Power Automate creates an email activity in a dataverse. Um, I don't have a multiple users to test the routing. Instead, we are creating an email activity with a different category. Now it's a demo time. Based on our use case, we need a four components or applications to build this scenario. The first one is Outlook to receive an email. The second one is an AI model. This is classifies the information from the text, which is email content. The third one is a dataverse to have an email activity. The final one is Power Automate, which connects Outlook, a model and the dataverse. Step one, now build and train the model using an AI builder. We completed this step on another video. Please refer this video and I will add this on our description. So the step two, create a flow using Power Automate. Open our browser and then go to make.powerapps.com and then select our environment. On the left navigation, click flows. Click new automated cloud flow. And then we'll give a name. Categorize when a new email arrives. Our flow is basically it's Outlook. So I'll we'll say when a new email arrives. So we have version two and version three. I'll select the version three. Click create. Okay. So connection and to open the connection. OK. 
okay i hope my connection is correct now and then the next step we know them uh, email is in a html so we need to convert to a text so i'm going to create a new step Let's see content conversion okay so now html to text it's our body content and then the next one is basically we can send this content to a builder click new step so a builder and then we need to say classify text into categories with uh, our with our one of our custom model basically we created pre on our previous video so the so name is text classification demo yep it's already there and then text is the kind text from the previous one okay so now we send the content we get the results so now i'll say one more step i'm going to route this one to based on the category so uh, we will get the multiple categories so it's going to be uh, multiple ones so i'm going to say apply to each let's select the results from here okay so now i'm going to add a switch statement basically for each category i'm going to create a new email activity so and the control switch so based on the classification right so based on the classification okay so for example um on our custom model basically we we created a three classification we created care facilities check-in uh, those kind of thing so we call it a care now we did an action say common data verse because we are going to create an email activity so i'm selecting common data verse which is the old name the new name is a data verse okay add a new row see email message email message so in this one if you see this we have a lot of properties um, which we can send only the few of the information so i'm going to say category is care and then the subject subject say care category receive okay and the description go over there description is a converted text basically okay so based on the category so we are creating an email message we created a one for a care and then i'm going to create another one click on another case and then this one is facilities facilities uh, same thing can we data service add a new row email message so we'll select a category as facilities the description is so the message email message and the subject is That's enough for now or we can create a one more basically that's for a, a check-in process we'll create a quick one check-in add 
connection from a data service, add a row, and then messages. Email message and finally subject. Okay, so now the email message is recreated. That's all for all the steps, right? So we will minimize this one. So when the new email receives, uh, and then we are converting in text or HTML to text, and then we are sending that text to a model so a model categorize it and then sends the results and then based on the category we are creating a new email activity simple steps so we'll save and then we can test this one i mean say manually test so this one is going to be like waiting mode then I'll go to my Gmail. So already I have a email account or email is ready. So I'm going to say my message is my treatment was good and I was kept informed by staff on the progress. Okay, click send. It should be triggered any moment. Okay, looks like our flow is running. classifies it okay it's completed so okay it looks like it's it's created based on the care okay now let's verify the data I'm going to open a dataverse in dynamic 365 customer engagement this is a modern driven application then I'm opening the sales help you can select your application so um in the modern run application so i selected sales help it's down here the unified service and then you can you can click on the email the email activity which is already created so care category is received uh, to receive that to see the category which is on an email activity click on advanced find click on that one so let it open Go to email message. And then I have another view. Yes. Okay. So this one is it's created email activity. The category is care. It open the email. So you saw them as a category, and then the email is my treatment was good. That's the same email which we received. Let's close the window. So this concludes for our demo today, which is how to use or consume our custom category classification AI model which we created. Thanks for watching. And then in the next video, we will discuss how to train the prediction AI model. This is the one of the last AI model we are going to see on this series. Again, uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.